Laptop Security and Digital Citizenship, we will cover three topics. The first of which is device security and internet filtering. In order to protect the devices, security software is installed on the device to protect the network. Due to this software, you will not be able to download or install software or browser extensions. You will not be able to remove software or change the system settings. For protection from the World Wide Web, internet filtering software is installed on site, but the filters apply no matter where the device is used. Washoe County School District adheres to SEPA, the Children's Internet Protection Act, which can be read at https colon backslash backslash tinyurl.com backslash j5sabp9. Our next topic is digital citizenship. Students will learn what they can do to be good digital citizens. That said, sometimes experience is the best way to gain knowledge. As we all embark on this journey together, we will learn about digital citizenship before and as we use the devices. Proactive knowledge includes nine Ps. Passwords. One must use unique passwords each time one is created. Passwords should include capital and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Never give your passwords to anyone as it may jeopardize your security. Privacy. Information you provide can be used to identify you. Your name, address, email, and phone number are examples of such information. Be cautious when sharing this information. Personal information. This information includes your age, number of siblings, favorite food, pet's name, etc. It does not immediately identify you, but you need to choose with whom you share it. Often, this is the information used to reset passwords. Photographs. Be aware when posting pictures. Is there a license plate? A street sign? Can people tell where you are? You will want to turn off the geotagging feature. Did you know people can find you on a map by using digital information from the posted picture? This could be used by strangers. Facial recognition software can find people in pictures, even if they aren't tagged. Property. What you and others post is your property. Be sure to correctly cite from where information came, even if it's just a picture. Intellectual property is work that results from creativity. For example, you wrote down and sketched a machine you were going to build. These ideas and drawings are your property and others can't use them without asking permission. Permission, make sure you ask before using work other than your own. Make sure you cite properly. Protection, viruses, malware, phishing, and identity theft are all ways of doing harm in the digital world. The security software installed on the devices aims to protect from these potential problems. Professionalism and permanence. When posting online, using the internet, or creating digital content, information is permanent. That is, there will always be a copy of it, even if you delete it from your device. Make sure that you appear professional, use correct spelling and grammar, be culturally responsible, and know the acceptable way of communicating on the internet. Everything you create digitally tells us about you. When people don't know you in person, your work is what you are judged by. When writing, be aware of your voice. Be intentional about what you share and how you share it. Respect yourself and others while online. Who do you want to be? Lastly, experiential knowledge is knowledge you acquire through experience. Despite our best efforts, we cannot prepare for everything that is going to arise when using devices. One needs to be able to decipher truth from fiction, know how to spot fictional emails and information as they can lead to scams and viruses. Snopes, Threat Encyclopedia, and the Federal Trade Commission websites have examples with which to practice your deciphering skills. Think like a teacher. By putting yourself in a position to analyze and dissect cons and scams, you will get better at recognizing falsehoods and protecting yourself. Collaborate. Working with others is the best way to gain tremendous amounts of knowledge quickly. Everyone brings their own knowledge, skills, and intellectual property to the group, and learning from each other becomes a byproduct of completing an assignment. By sharing and collecting information online, you experience a variety of environments. For example, you may hear your teacher telling you to use proper spelling and grammar. 
but until you blog with texting jargon and a contact from another country has a hard time understanding what you're writing, you might not implement your knowledge. Remember to be secure in using your devices and with what you create digitally. Respect yourself and others and report unkind or harmful actions to a teacher or adult.